Hello everybody, this is Mark at KnifeGloves.com and a specific shout out to you, Mr. Ambidex. This video is going to be showing the construction of your glove. It's the Resurrection Glove and just going to show you not really step by step but uh, just an inside look into the creation of the glove and a few little extra things here and there. I won't be showing you some very specific things because I honestly have to keep some things secret but you will be able to see some of the techniques and some of the uh, construction process of this glove. So you can see how much work goes into it, so you can appreciate it a little bit better. So hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Okay, so here we'll start off with the leather glove itself. Okay, This is a 100% cowhide leather glove. It's the new style I'm going to be using. Uh, it's got a silver buckle, silver ball. I will be painting that ball red. Uh, the leather is a yellowish color. I do some pre-treatment on it uh, to darken the color a little bit. Uh, originally this glove was extremely white, or not white, but extremely yellow. And I do some techniques to it to darken it a bit. And I also add some staining. This is just the initial process of the leather glove. And so I'm just give it a pull. So wrist strap works well and this has to be the softest leather glove I've ever had um, to use to my for my gloves so this glove is an eighteen dollar glove the gloves I normally use are about five so difference in quality okay so this is all you're gonna see of this this is the cutting device that I use to to make the parts of the glove specifically the copper parts I cut all the back plates out by hand uh, as you can see the top of it there, it says knife gloves and I get perfect results every time and I get them cut out extremely quickly so I'm not going to show you what it is or how it works but just know that that's what it is okay so now we're going to do the back plate here's my back plate, it's pre-drawn I'm going to wiggle it around so you can't see the template uh, so just get some shears and we'll just go ahead and cut this thing out so here we go plate has been cut out. Then after we do that, I get my trusty little hole puncher. Rather, this is the hole puncher. This is not a hole puncher. I'm not sure why I was showing that when I mentioned a hole puncher. So, here we go. I sold a few of these to, to some of you guys out there. So, I'm not going to do all the holes, but I'm sure that's a boring process to watch. I have all the holes marked on it already, so there's one. Okay, there we go. Nice hole. There, it's focused. Okay, anyway, you do all the holes on it and you bend it. I'm going to do some aging to it. Uh, I can't show you how I do that though, because it's all natural. Um, not natural as in terms of elements, but I don't use any chemicals, so not going to show you how I do that. So stay tuned and I'll weather this thing up and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, got the back plate all done, got it nice and bent and weathered, and here it is. Okay, so here's the weathered back plate. Okay, got even the little squiggly thing. Well, it seems kind of weird, but if you look at the glove, the original glove in the first film, it's got that. Uh, you can see it really well in the bathtub scene when the hand comes out of the water. You can see that little squiggly. Uh, okay, so I'll show you the detailed bending of it. Okay. Okay, beautiful bends. I even indent the rivet areas, so as you can see, it's not just a flat hole, I actually indent it. Same with that one. So, okay, that's the back plate, okay? Solid brass. Okay, up next we got fingers. Now this is where it gets fun. 
I've got all the fingers cut out. Let me show show you what I got. Okay. Okay. So finger parts here. Okay. This one's a in or this one's a ring finger. Can't think on camera. This is the middle finger, and got the other parts down there. Don't want to reach for them. Um, so we'll go ahead and get those bent and get the initial weathering process. Actually, flip that around. I'm going to do the initial weathering process first, and then I'll get them bent. I'm not going to show you how I weather them, but just know that that's going on behind the scenes. So I'll go on to the next step and show you that. Okay, got the initial weathering process done. Let me show you before and after. Okay, this is before. Nice shiny copper. Okay, I don't want to show you the template straight on, but let's see the copper's nice and shiny. But here is after. See that nice brown color. Okay, it's got that faded look to it as well. So. Dirty copper. Okay, so there it is. Okay, um, also have to punch the holes in them, then we shape the parts. So let's get on with that and get this thing hammered out. Alright, here we go with bending of the copper. Nothing like a good crotch shot in the morning, but uh, it's the best angle I can get. So, okay, we got the metal part here, and just have my trusty, ah, that hurt. Uh, metal pole. All I use is a uh, basically just one of those sprinkler poles I use to turn on and off sprinkler systems. So I just bend it manually around the pole first and hammer it out. Okay, so there's the initial bend. Just check to see how well it is bent and it's not the best I've ever done but that's the initial bending then I do a few other things hammer out the flat part apologize this is off screen but just flattening the, the bottom part I'll punch a hole in that and so that's the initial uh, bending process. And, and you just get a little more detail, just, you know, just bend it by hand, use other round things, and just kind of work it into shape. And um, once you get the fingers done, then you solder on the ringlets. So, um, not sure if I'll show you the ringlet soldering, because it's probably the most tedious and boring part. Let's get rid of that crotch shot, shall we? Um, and so, got all get all the finger parts bent and weathered initially. And yeah, let's just jump straight to the finger or the ringlet soldering. Okay, so here you go, bam! Through the magic of video and television, got the ringlets all done. Okay, there's finger piece with the ringlet attached. So let me show you the interior. Hopefully it picks it up. Okay. Make sure I do very good soldering work on the inside. Gives it a nice solid hold. Okay. Alright, so there's this is an index finger. You can see the shape of it. Okay. All right, so got the, get the fingers done. Now, so I will skip the ringlets. You don't have to see that boring part. And then let's do the blades. That's the fun part and probably the most labor intensive part. So I hope you enjoy watching that. Okay, I am now in my blade cutting attire. I know it's extremely flattering. Pick up chicks in this. I got my wife that way. Uh, anyway, here is the knife we will be grinding out. It's got my template already drawn onto it. And so we're just going to get to work and get this blade cut out. So let's do this.